everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're at the Newport Cafe in Newport, Oregon. Yes, Newport, Oregon, guys, right on the coast. Very, very beautiful down here, very green, very luscious. Here to do their super awesome monster burger challenge. I believe it's called the super awesome monster burger challenge, because they or super ultimate monster burger challenge, because they also have an ultimate burger. Anyway, this place is known for giant burgers. They're known for this eight pound burger, which is the thing we are here to eat today. So this is an eight plus pound burger featuring over three and a half pounds of beef. We have a giant, giant bread. We have a whack of ham. We have, I think, like eight fried eggs. We have cheese, onions, um, just so much stuff on this thing. We're gonna have 40 minutes to complete the burger to get it for free and if we do for a limited time they're also offering a hundred dollar cash price so it's a like 100 dollar burger challenge burger itself standardly is 40 dollars which is a heck of a deal because it's very very large of course people mostly just order them for families and stuff um, but newport cafe itself has a long-standing history in fact like everybody knows about the newport cafe this place is super cool on the inside it's been here for a number of years it's absolute staple staple in the community it used to be open 24 out of 7 just prior to covid as well but yeah so absolute famous cafe famous restaurant in the area with a big famous burger challenge. So let's head on in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. Hopefully we can beat this burger in the 40 minute time limit. Um, and that's about it. So let's head on in, let's have some fun, eat some food, like I said, and I don't know, I've already said that. So wish us luck, great big burger, let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here we are with the burgers. They are absolutely giant, so legit. Eight plus pounds, these things are huge. So again, we only have 40 minutes to complete it. Look who I found uh, down here in Oregon, my good friend, Mr. Scott. Um, so that's about that, everybody. So pretty much that's it. Uh, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, fried onions, eggs, cheese, ham, uh, big buns, big patties, and that's about that. So ready to get started, Scott? Let's do it. There's only one way to do it, and let's get started. Just why not? When in Oregon. So, how about we get started? Scott has a little timer for us. So, Scott. Yes. How about whenever? Oh, wow. This is a Ooh. this is a steamy this is a steamy pile of cheese and eggs and buns and beautiful all that stuff. Um, when ready, Scott? How about you give us a countdown? All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Cheers. Again. Beef. Mmm. Nicely cooked. Nice medium rare. Put some eggs, some cheese. Put some cheesy eggs. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here at the Newport Cafe in Newport, Oregon, taking on their Super Ultimate Burger Challenge. Yes, so they had the Ultimate, the Super, and here we got the Super Ultimate, so the biggest one they had to offer. So this is a eight plus pound burger featuring absolutely giant beef patty. We had loads of fried eggs. We had loads of cheese. We had ham. We had onions. We had pickles. We had lettuce. We had tomato. Um, we had like a thousand island sauce. So definitely a very full, well-dressed burger served on top of a very, very, very large bun. Um, so this is a challenge which you can pretty much do anytime because they also sell this as a normal menu item. Try some of this cheesy egg there. Coming on two minutes in, this is definitely a big burger. No shortage of meat or anything else. That's good. The challenge did offer up a free meal upon completion, um, but otherwise the burger is like 40-ish bucks, which is pretty like, well, honestly, it's very affordable in my opinion for what you get. As like I said, you can just order this as a normal item. You can feed your whole family. Um, so definitely a very big, big burger they, they offer. I'm sure these big buns are gonna be the, uh, the difficult part though, that's for sure. 
The Newport Cafe itself, as I guess, is uh, quite well known in the area. It dates back a number of years. They used to be like 24 hours a day prior to COVID. And now they, you know, still offer your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner with a whole bunch of seafood items, but now just a shorter hours. No shortage of fried onions either. No shortage of anything. Mm -hmm. It had been a long time since somebody had actually completed the burger challenge, so that's why they were offering the uh, $100 cash prize kind of as a one-time kind of deal thing. Um, but they did kind of say if Scott and I could complete it collectively, that that's what they would uh, offer, which is pretty cool. I think like standardly it used to have the cash on it and then they got rid of the cash if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, generally it is the free meal for the prize. What a beautiful day here today. Great location. And we're here to slow time. Normally this place is packed. The staff were very friendly here, uh, definitely quite accommodating, and it was all, you know, overall pretty solid. I mean, like I said, it's just a lot of food. It's just a lot of different items. Um, the beef uh, was, I'd say, very, like if it was, you know, seasoned very simply, kind of just like salt, pepper, um, but that way, you know, it can really adapt the different flavors of your sauces. Uh, I enjoyed the eggs. I'm a big egg on burger person. Comment down below if you like eggs on a burger. Definitely just, ooh, especially like a runny, drippy egg egg that egg yolk on a burger it just adds something special that is that umami that is that mouth feel that is oh yeah um, but yeah the it was also nice having the fried onions i liked that as well um, compared to just a raw onion it does add again a slightly different dynamic slightly different flavor um, but yeah overall that's pretty much i think the majority of the information i have for you pretty straightforward like we said a very large burger challenge um, had been completed in a long 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 time many many years and so Scott and I were hoping to actually complete that today uh, if you're not familiar with my friend Scott Scott Eats um, a fellow Canadian eater um, great gentleman and we have done quite a few food challenges all over the place this is our first kind of food challenge uh, trip into Oregon um, which Oregon itself was very beautiful it was very very green I see why you know they call the you know Oregon coast the beautiful green nature they offer it was really really impressive and this area is like very beachy kind of tourist coming out of five and a half minutes in guys very big burger yeah. we're both making our way through it lots of beef lots of eggs lots of cheese It has a nice brine to it, very tasty. So definitely a cool area if you're ever down in Oregon to check out. Like I said, very, very, very kind of great place, I'd say, in the summer. Um, apparently just very busy, loads of traffic coming through. The area is also known for all kinds of fresh seafood, whether it be like clams, oysters, different fish, shrimp. Um, so definitely diverse. But with that, everyone, let's get to the rest of the video. Let's ultimately uh, see what happens. And maybe I'll talk to you in a couple moments as well. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Right, loads of veggies on you guys. Coming on seven and a half minutes in. All right, just over the eight and a half minute mark. I finished with most of the meat. Doles just down to the buns. Make our way. Got 31 minutes left. Sick bread. Ten and a half minutes in there, buddy. 
Make sure you have the half left. Scott is really right behind me. Contrary to common belief, my favorite co uh, condiment with my bread is water. Said no one ever. Okay, this is a big bun. No shortage of veggies here. But at that, everybody, it's been a long, long, long time since we played a joke on those skippers. And I know you watching at this point are not skipping through the video, so thank you so much for not skipping. But comment down below, Joel, where did you get that wart from? Yes, comment about a wart, hashtag nice wart, or whatever you want, and let's get the skippers looking for a point in the video where we look or talk about warts. So thank you so much again for watching to this point in the video. Really appreciate it. If you made it this far, like I said, like that video. Drop me a comment down below. Hit subscribe if it's your first time here. And uh, yeah, so warts. Almost done, Joel. Slowly but surely. Uh, 16, 16 and a quarter, 16, 15, something like that. So that was a big burger. Overall, pretty tasty. South has been awesome here. Super cool location. Really glad we could try the super awesome, amazing burger. That's for sure. Because it is all the above. It's very big. Very big. Really cool uh, kind of idea to have these giant oversized burgers and they do have this eight pound burger, then they have a four pound burger. They have even like, I get maybe it's a two or three, a one pound, they have a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> Excuse me, Ooh, compliments to the chef, that's what that means. <sighs> Scott is down to just the one uh, half of the bun, which is definitely, it's, it's hard to work through that bun. That bun is definitely the hardest part. But that's what makes it a challenge, right? So that will tune in as Scott finishes up and that's about that. Eighteen and a half minutes in, Scott is basically done. Um, that's about it. Definitely adding some moisture to that bread definitely helps it go down a bit. That's exactly what he was doing. Well, well, well under that 40 minute time limit.
I tell you, I'm cold though. Drink all those fluids, middle of winter here. It's a sunny day, which is nice, but it doesn't mean it's warm. Just finished up, just about 1957, 1956, something like that. So, Mr. Scott, give me an elbow, your hands a little messy. Congratulations. So that we both completed the challenge in less than uh, half the time limit, technically. So, yeah, less than the uh, less than 20 minutes. So that was really cool. Um, huge thanks to Newport guys. Uh, really great that they're offering this challenge. Super cool that they offer the great oversized food items that they do. Um, the staff have been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the food was good. Uh, I think it's a very, honestly, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult challenge. I mean, it's a big burger. That is, yeah. We were we were not slacking. Um, and that, like, you gotta work. You gotta put in some work for that. But hey, if you want to try one of their big burgers, come on by. Uh, not that necessarily recommend trying to eat one yourself, but if you do want to, that is the option. But you can order one for as a family or something, which they normally do. And I will say, $40 for that is a very good price tag. Yeah, like, that's a heck of a heck of a deal because you could feed like you could totally feed a family of five with that. So I mean, you're talking well, like still eight that's bucks like a person, pound and a half oh, for yeah. burger each. Yeah, yeah like you could feed a lot of people. So definitely great value, guys. Um, that's about that. It's a cool spot. I love the uh, artwork they have on the menu here. Um, hopefully they get back to open to uh, you know 24 hours, 24 seven. But I think it's super cool. They also have the awesome. They have a, a decked out uh, car here. They also have a big decked out truck. Well, I don't know, Scott. Maybe we'll just try some other stuff. It was yeah, really I great. Think so they, they they did mention something about that, right? And maybe some appetizers. I, I tell you, the, uh, the the whole area is known yeah. for like a whole bunch of seafood, everything from oysters to to uh, fish to shrimp to to clams. So I don't know. We'll have to have a peek. But uh, at that, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This area of Oregon is absolutely beautiful, and uh, I have no complaints. So yeah, Newport Cafe, guys, I must stop by when you're in the area. And uh, that. Any words, Scott? No, it was delicious. Uh, thanks for joining me today, and uh, thanks to the staff. Uh, if you guys ever get a chance, check out the commercials too. They got some uh, pretty, pretty interesting commercials for this place. So, yeah, uh, they, uh, they're, they're very innovative. Yes. So sure. anyway, until next time, say about the hungry, happy eating. Have a day. And here we are driving. I'm part of the Oregon coast, guys. Here at the water, the big old ocean, right there, big old ocean. It's very pretty, pretty drives, um, very beautiful. Uh, obviously, in the summertime, these beaches are, you know, gorgeous, and people swim and stuff along the water here. Right now, it's a little cold for that. A little cold for that. We are in a, 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 a tsunami uh, hazard zone, but great drive along the coast here. This is actually beautiful. Um, I'd love to come back and do this more leisurely and then like in the summer as well, drive up and down the Oregon coast. So. But yeah, beautiful and some rocks and trees. And I am surprised how green it is for the winter though. I'll tell you that much. But anyway, yeah, so uh, Oregon coast, good looking. Looking good. And another beautiful view on the Oregon coast here guys. Mountains. And then the lovely, lovely ocean. Like I said, in the summertime, this would just be awesome. It reminds me of like the, uh, like what is it, the PCH or whatever in California, kind of. I mean, we are really just up the coast of California, so like sense it's half similar, just a lot more, a lot more green. Well, yeah, well, at least right now a lot more green. Beautiful. Here we have some more of the Oregon, Oregon, Oregon coast. 
Uh, this is Depot Bay. Depot Bay, most notably known for whale watching um, and or like sightings of whales. I don't think there'd be any today. I don't know if you guys can really see the water down there, but it's very, very rough. Um, but yeah, certain times of the year, this place is really well known for whale watching. So there you go, Depot Bay. We uh, unfortunately don't really have much time to get out and explore or see the area. Look at that, that beautiful, down there, all these beautiful coasts and inlets and bays and whatever, but it is very gorgeous. Like, is it definitely a place I would like to come back uh, leisurely when we have a little bit more time? Um, but really cool, cool little, uh, cool little spot down here in Depot Bay. And here we are in Sillets Bay, S-I-L-E-T-Z. Sillets Bay, guys, we have big, big, big mountains full of trees and hills of trees and lots of green and lots of trees and stuff. Um, we are slightly, we're still by the water, but we're slightly more removed. Like, there's water, there's water, but we're not on the open ocean anymore. So we are a bit further inland, a bit more enclosed. Yeah, there's definitely like rivers and still water. Like there's water, but it's not the open ocean as you see it is encased over there. So yeah, more of Oregon, 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 however you want to pronounce it. Beautiful. Lots of green. And we're driving through more of Oregon. I gotta say, look at this though. Look, it's a big smiley face. Somebody killed off a number of trees in the shape of a smiley face. That's impressive, man. That's actually like, I don't know, cool slash kind of funny. Very interesting. I mean, that, that took some planning. That is big. That is very, very large to do. So congratulations, Oregon. You got some smiley face on a big tree hill. Cool though. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.